Can you tell us a little bit about what the fans will be uh, be seeing at, with Jack's Mannequin tonight? You know, they'll be seeing you know five dudes playing some new songs that they probably never heard before, and hopefully, hopefully that will resonate with them. I mean, the show has been really cool so far. Um, I think the main yeah, it, it's hard to say. Like some people are like, "Why did you do this?" You know, is it you know, or, or you know, try and find the differences or the similarities between something corporate and whatever. And I always just tell people, you know, I didn't do this record to not be in something corporate. I didn't do this record to be different than it or to be similar to it. You know, it's like I did it because I had like a very, I was on a very specific kind of little personal road that I wanted to sort out. You know, and it was more, it was more art therapy than it was, you know, a business move or anything like that. And the same thing is true of, of the touring. You know, it's like I've got a band of guys together who are who are really talented, and we have a lot of fun playing the material. And I mean, all I can do is hope that people enjoy it when we go out and, and play. But you know, my intention with this project wasn't really geared so much at at winning over thousands and thousands of people as much as it was a chance to to kind of rekindle some of the you know some of the initial energy I've always had towards music you know and and, and access that you know for a second time around and it's been effective at that so I'm, I'm definitely happy happy for that reason yeah. now uh, Bob from you know, the touring band of Sun Incorporated is uh, is playing with you guys tonight right yeah, yeah, he plays with us on the road. Yeah. Um, how did the decision to play with him come along? Did he just come with the band? It was kind of hard, to be honest. It was like, um, you know, Bob, Bob and I, have, you know, we were friends since his River City High days, as, you know, as well as Bob and the whole band. You know, we've always known, we've known each other for a long time. Um, you know, and when I heard he was available, I mean, frankly, he's one of the best guitarists, if not the best guitarist I've ever encountered. Um, one of the most talented people, and it's it's funny because a lot of people you wouldn't nece- not say you wouldn't necessarily know by seeing him play because most people can access that he's he's a really talented guy, but he's almost almost his biggest talent is self restraint because of you know, what he's capable of, you know, is, is rarely reflected on what he does, you know, because it would sometimes be considered showboating if you just go there, you know what I mean? It, and he's he's extremely taste one of the best most tasteful guitarists I've ever encountered. So when I started working on the record. You know, you know, Jim and I, Jim were who produced some Incorporated records. The two of us basically put, you know, put the album together start to finish before anybody even knew it existed, really. Um, you know, I just paid out of pocket and, and would go in at the end of a week, and I was kind of a little crazy, and I was writing songs all day long, and I'd just go in with a few songs, and we'd pick the best one, and we'd record it in a day, and we just... But when it got to the point where we were like, okay, well, we're going to put this record out, you know, it became obvious we were going to need another guitarist you know, to pull off some of the material we were going to need to hire a live drummer so that it wasn't all programmed, you know what I mean? There were, there were certain things between the difference of just making a record for myself and then delivering a record to people so that they could enjoy it. And um, I was hesitant to include Bob because I didn't want some corporate fans to feel like he had anything to do with, with my decision to do something else. Um, but he called me one day and he said, you know, I really like the material. I'll, I'll, I'll pay for my own plane ticket, I'll sleep on your couch, but I, I'd love to be there and, and help take it to the next level. And, um, you know, that's the same, the same was true of everybody who worked on this record. It was like everybody who was involved in the album itself were all people who just cared and loved the project so much. And it was such a small group, but it was all people who were, who were involved in just nurturing something. And it was like, it's really amazing. And, and Bob was one of those people. And, the decision to put him in the live band was, once again, a really loaded decision. It was hard to choose, but the shit that he plays is, forgive me, that's probably, <laughs> but, but, um, but, but, but what, the way that he plays is, is so hard for anybody to emulate that it just became evident that he would be the man to play it. And we kind of built the band around myself and, and, and the people that he knows, you know, and, and brought in the old drummer for University High plays drums on the project as well as one of their other friends from Richmond Plays Bass. Um, and then randomly, just through a connection, Jacques from Phantom Planet is playing and he's the other guitarist for the band. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting, but the chemistry is, is, is awesome and we have a really good time playing together. So that's how it all came Now, I've, I heard that you guys have played, uh, we were taping this show at San Francisco State University yeah. and I heard that you guys played a show here like Five, four years ago, and you're in, uh, and you were in the middle of telling me a story about it. Uh, oh, show here. no, it was just funny. I mean, I remember we were driving to try and find this gig, and we ended up playing a gig for, I think, like, maybe 30 or 40 people on campus in some, like, rec hall around here or something like that, and, uh, and um, I think it was Clutch was driving the van, and we got, and we were getting lost, as you tend to do when you have a bunch of dudes in a van trying to find one location. 
And eventually, I think I think Clutch got so frustrated with our backseat driving that like he he put the car or put the van and trailer in park in the middle of like a really bu busy intersection and climbed into the backseat. He said, "You fucking find the place," you know what I mean? And we to this day still talk about that. It's happened, I think, two or three times with various different band members and backseat driving. So. But they don't let me drive anyway, so I have no problem heckling them from the backseat. So, yeah, I'm not allowed to drive the van. It's, my, my driving skills are not appreciated by it. Actually, not just in the corporate Jack's man <laughs> Wow, reputation. I have a reputation on the road. So, yeah, but funny stories definitely result from, you know, the van and trailer days, which is weird. I haven't done it for two and a half years. And with Jack's, we're back in it. We're doing van and trailer crossing the country. And it's, it's, it's a cool way to see you know, it's a cool way to see the country is in a van and trailer in a rock band. I, I recommend it to anybody who gets a chance to do it, for sure. Definitely. Now, um, your new album comes out July... I think it's July 12th. July 12th. What was the name of that album? It's called Everything in Transit. Um, uh, so that's completely done, right? And it's just... Ri ri <laughs> Almost. Uh, I, I've, I remember the first time I said this record was done was, uh, I think, October of this past year. And I think every month, at least once a month, I've said it's done. And every month, something more has to get done. So uh, there's still little things outstanding. But as I, under, as I understand it, the 18th is our mastery day. And so the 18th of this month should be the official last day that this, and when this record is finally put to bed. But it's one of those works in progress. You know, any artist of any kind, you know, painters, musicians, writers, anything will all say the same thing, which is until it's released, it's not finished, and this has been a prime example. It's taken me a year and a half to record this record, and, and uh, it's been it's been one of the most creative and interesting times of my life, for sure. All right, well, yeah, check out Jack's Mannequin, um, their new album, Everything in Transit, and all of Something Corporate's albums, which we just discussed. Awesome. And uh, thank you for being with me Thanks today, Andrew us. McMahon. And next time on Concert Pipeline, we should be bringing you Warp Tour, so a bunch of bands from Warp Tour, Boys Night Out, a bunch of other bands, uh, interviews, footage from the show, and a bunch of other stuff uh, coming up, OzFest. Make sure to check out our website, concertpipeline.com, and shoot us an email sometime at concertpipeline at yahoo.com. Thank you for watching Concert Pipeline.